kind of missed that one. So, hey, Lola in the house. Century, so I hope that was worth it. Let's see. This won't take long. Yeah, Don't let's witty banter. This will take about as long as your dick. Damn! Dang. <laughs>
It's not the the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont, I'll still, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't. Yeah, I don't like. I don't know. It doesn't seem that She's bad. Lola. I'm Milo. Get tortured from nine to five, to but to other than that, you. we gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on, Van Dyke. Three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. We should really if stay you so you sure. Here, you We're in hell. Might, might as well. And um, sure, our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, Cass and Jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. <laughs> Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. Let's go. Shots. <laughs> Ah, uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you yeah, have eyeballs, this feels... you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in Yeah, memory. this one. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew under toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fuck? What the shit is that you got on your head? Is that the alcohol talking through him? Uh, sir, I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are. Jim Jum. Well, if the demon says well, you're Jim you Jum, you're Jim Jum you now. Uh, you have the wrong guy. Get night? the... Yeah. No, let's just... You, you, know, got, you got the wrong guy. Uh, buddy, we don't know any Jim Jum, okay? You got the wrong guy. Remember that, that dance man when you scored all those points? <laughs> He's, yeah, like, trying to get him, like, hey, hey. What? Come on, guys. This is a prime opportunity here to really utilize your drunken spirit. Oh. You've got a brass bull in you, so use it. Okay, I guess this is the opportunity to show us the new mechanic. Get the f out of here. You gotta be aggressive sometimes hey, in life. Dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Yeah, Lola. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted. I can I can read body languages. Can you? Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See. Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. Hopefully the first but one. Like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. You're selling it. T -t Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you, kids. Nice meeting you too, Tommy. He seems like a good guy. Crap, we should. We're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, uh, we should get a drink first. Yeah. And, uh, her info. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink first. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this tomorrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Okay. So we got Bloody Stool, Famous Last Words, The Great Amanthian. And pure of anguish. So they all have like little things. So this is like a flirty floozy, prison bully, liquid courage, and another liquid courage. So I feel like maybe I think we switch back over to Milo. And if that's true, then we need some liquid courage. Cause that guy that guy beyond he he yeah he he needs some liquid courage so either let's do pure of anguish a pair of anguish. pair of anguish Is it good don't ask me i just work here astonished and unpleasant but it'll get you drunk at least girly what's your poison uh just same as him i guess uh, i thought don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, That's nobody true. Nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's it's over, it's a job. You drink with whatever what? eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job. Who's given? Given by who? Like what the heck? It's a job. Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. Oh, that makes sense. I thought we were friends. 
How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Oh, my Maybe gosh. Just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? <sighs> Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to... Oh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea, <laughs> Lola. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea, Lola, because, like, these demons, they really don't care sometimes. So maybe he's not going to deal with it. I think we should just stick to the original plan and talk to um, Tommy over here. He seems like a good guy. We'll probably get along really well. Oh, by the way, guys, I fixed the problem with the whole subtitle thing. So, yes, enjoy subtitles. Okay, so let's go talk to Tommy. Hey, fellas. Beer pong, huh? Uh, my, my dorm room was next to the guy who won his league tournament. That's awesome. You know what and by the way, these little awesome. if you could stop Texas or stuff again. that's been ha hey popping now, up, Artesia's consumer of I've been reading in my head, that's so cool. you guys can Milo, right? listen in more. I don't want to interrupt really too much. <laughs> um, to I never played before. Right? I actually just want to go, no, let's drink and let's say, awesome, yeah, let's do it, Milo. Awesome, yeah, definitely. I've always wanted to play. I've just never, you know, been asked to. Yeah, it's okay. I can tell. Oh. Lola, okay. You and me, bright eyes. What? Lola? How did she get oh, into this? Do you want to, uh, to play? Let's dance. Yeah, let's do it. Let's dance. Fuck him up, Lola. Yeah. Gather around, everyone. <laughs> Why did he go to Lola, though? Rooster. Wasn't All it right. Milo supposed to be doing it? Well, I eat people who eat roosters for breakfast. Ooh. Hey, all right. You make more well-wishers with honey than with vinegar. <laughs> oh my, I'm, I'm okay, lonely guys. <laughs> we really pride ourselves on our ability to trash talk down here. It's like, even if you lose, if you got in a few verbal jabs along the way, a few witty rejoinders, yeah, should take your shot, shithead. Or we can just call each other names, you know, whichever's faster. Let's call each other name, no. We're... Oh, oh, this is, this is like the basketball now? thing, okay. I kind of missed that one, so... Hey, Lola in the house. Century, so I hope that was worth it. Let's see. This won't take long. Yeah, Don't let's witty banter. This will take about as long as your dick. Dang. <laughs> yes, Lola, Lolita. You can do it. Let's go here. Yeah. Hey. First you graduate clown college, now this. Clown college? I'm gonna declare Amber Alert? What? Hey, shouldn't there be an Amber Alert right about See now? See that? This asshole's skills are missing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like I, I go at him, I roast him right where he does a score, like... Okay, let's see this. Let's do this. Come on, Lola. Three for three, come on. Oh no! Someone put her out of a misery. You're Jesus. Born a mistake. Tell me the truth. When you were born, the condom manufacturer had to issue an apology, right? Dang. <laughs> Lola with the comebacks. No! Enjoying this, yeah. Dang it. Aww. Boom. What did I tell you, huh? Humans are good for two things. Beating I was them even trying. I like these yellow options. Beaters. Yeah, like I was even hey, trying. Dig for brains. I wasn't even trying. What do you think about that? What do I think about it? I think I can smell a liar when they're a cat fart away from me. His <laughs> accent. All right, all right. The kid's still a hoop, right? <laughs> this will take as long as your dick. Come on, she's a howler. I'm inviting. At you. least someone right. appreciates uh, the art. Goofy looking enough. You guys want to hang out more? I'm throwing a little party upstairs. Just tell the big guy your name, and I'll put you on the list. Awesome. Thanks. We got in, Milo? You're awesome. Let's go get Sam before he looks at us again and changes his mind. Want a drink? Uh, this game's all about drinking. Should I? Why not? Need a drink? Got one. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Then let's go upstairs. <clears throat> Forget. I believe something. we're on the okay. list, sir. I believe. Oh, <laughs> he thought the same the thing. <laughs> Your parents must be proud. Drink. What is he gonna say? We should be friends. Sure. Hey, you know we we should be friends. Seriously. I mean, what's your name? Do you do you have a name? Do demon bouncers have? Oh my gosh, he's going like, for. Like a doorknob. It's kind of awkward now. I hate this job. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's keep the pogo stick hopping. I like Lola. She has like such a chill vibe about her. Let's get the pogo stick hopping. Well, it sounds cooler when she said it. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? It's like a whole different welcome, atmosphere welcome up here. Welcome to Tommy Tulane's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were, that's Thomas Tulane, the serial killer? Kidnapped, oh wow! And killed thirteen young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Oh my goodness. Um, Never you're all sick. Oh no, but he was nice to us. What it? Okay, well he was nice to us. But he was. He was so nice Not about to, to be us. like you guys are monsters. Yeah, you can't really slaughter a litter of boys in total anonymity without a few social graces. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. Fornius, let's go. Hey, Tommy, you serial killer. Hey, thanks for for coming out. Really, I appreciate it. I can't believe it's just been a year. It feels a lot shorter and longer, you know? Oh, definitely. Was a uh, companion not able to make it? I thought I saw him check yes on the Evite. He wanted to. He really did, buddy. <laughs> it's stupid, but he's gained so much weight recently. You're kidding me. That's not. No, that's not the reason. He, uh, he actually joined a gym, if you can believe it. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Forney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? We sort of made friends with Thomas, the night scalper Tulaney, so... Tulaney. Yay! Lola here lost to his buddy in Blood Pong, but talked such good smack he invited us up. Wow, I'm impressed. You're a little old We're for We're cool, Tulaney. okay? You know, yeah. with Miles' head of hair, I can... No luck I in that. See the We're appeal, cool. Actually. Hey, we're we're cool, okay? I I uh I. You're not yeah, selling you my Obviously, died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour or however long we've been here, but we really we really want to get out if possible. We just we want to go home. I mean, see that big mansion down the way, the one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Get to the oh no, why are you telling us this? Sounds like hell to me. Oh, so we're not gonna be mean to Sam. Is that what you're saying? Why am I not shocked? I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Has anyone done it? Alive. Open the door. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Dang, you can really just okay, well, do that? Has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, oh, there wow. you go. And I think there was a velociraptor. So I'm guessing it's him. super hard okay, to do so that. Yeah, okay, um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Sounds easy enough, right? Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. 
Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Dang. I mean, if you think about it, aren't we already dead? Can't we, like, outdrink him because we don't really have functioning livers or anything to be concerned about? Hey, bye, Tommy. Thanks for inviting me. Can you kill someone in hell? Like, could he go on a serial spree? Spring in hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do you open the door like that? How uh, long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Ew. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans such as yourselves, drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on Who is your most favorite uh, interesting fair? How do demons get assigned jobs? Yeah. And folks deaths. So, if you're a ferryman, woman, uh, how do you get assigned that particular job? Is it like 6th grade PE where you sign up on a clipboard and hope you don't get square dancing? Wait, you didn't like square dancing in gym hey, class? My skin sponsors, the guy that thinks no one ever cheated on him. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Oh. Having a good adventure so far? It's our personal I'm demon. Just about to clock in. Just wanted to wanted to let you know. Just so you're uh, aware. Uh, what does that I'm mean? Really excited yeah. To hit the ground blazing. Uh-huh. And uh, what does that mean again exactly? Oh, uh, it means I'll be popping up here and there to mentally and spiritually agonize you. Sounds and to the best fun. Of my ability, of course. I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies or, or like a uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Korea Imaginativa. The, the 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 pits of you know Unus Mundus, but they can only hurt you if you know you're you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah. It's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans aren't afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, can't you, you just leave us alone? See a car uh, drive on well, the good sidewalk. luck. How, how am I supposed to work with that? Can't you just, like, leave us alone? Go play a round of hell golf. Take the, take the day off. Can you take the day off from having to go to the bathroom? Then no, I can't take the day off. Well, actually, some days I don't go at all, so... Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> okay. Oh, quick reminder. Crowds. Like them. You liked them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! Oh my gosh. But anyways, demons are born to do what they do. It's called versification. Doggerel. It's written in their souls, conscripted since the angels came. The angels, like Lucifer, they changed. All right, Saints Place is on Welkin Way. Oh, maybe. <laughs> if you want to get there, spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. Okay, and if we're not ready, will we head over? <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm just going to stop this episode here. I... Things are getting interesting. They're definitely getting interesting. To find out there's actually a way to come back to life and go home. Like, what? Like, things are definitely getting interesting. But, anyways, thank you for watching. If you like this and want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more from me, feel free to check out my channel and give that subscribe button a little tippity tap. And I'll see you in the next video. Nina out. Thank mm -hmm. you.